All right, boys, uh, we are back here with another opening. This time we're opening up the latest, the, the greatest, the Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge. The box does look pretty pretty darn awesome, actually. Um, but I'm not going to be opening up too many of this product because, quite frankly, the product just isn't for me. And, uh, I mean, it's uh, it's awesome that it's for you guys. Like, hell yeah, if you, if you enjoy it. I hope you pull bangers, but I'm not going to be opening up too many of this product. I might buy some blisters, might do a live stream on the blisters, might do some shorts on the blisters. But uh, yeah, this product just isn't for me. But before we do that, guys, we hit the 1,000 subscriber milestone. And because of that, I'm going to be giving away this uh, PSA 9 first edition, Ubel, the Loving Defender Forever QCR. That is a mouthful. To be eligible, guys, I will be putting an infographic on screen. Make sure you guys read it and understand it because if you don't qualify, then obviously I'm going to have to pick another person. Um, and then, yeah, so re really fast, the qualifications are you have to be publicly subscribed. You have to like the video. You have to have an American address that I can ship this to. And then you have to use a phrase. that, And the phrase is just going to be uh, 1,000 subscribers or 1K achieved will do. And I'll put it right here in the video so you know exactly what I'm looking for because I automate the process. And yeah, so all, now that all of that housekeeping for the giveaway is out of the way, thank you guys for the 1,000 subs. It's pretty cool, you know, hitting a, a big milestone like that. Going forward, subs to me don't really matter. So giveaways are still happening, but they're not going to be sub-based. Sub you still have to be subscribed to win the giveaways, of course, but... To, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out as we go along but yeah it, it's to help out guys just engage with the content just like every video comment and all that stuff to push the the videos to other people and then we can get more give, get, get more giveaways essentially that way anyways all right enter the giveaway guys thank you i don't want to i don't want to take too long on this either I'm, uh, on the live stream i might be i might do more you know, like, thank you. I don't know, man. It's 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 nice to celebrate, but it's also... I've already celebrated enough with the posts on Twitter and the, the ones on YouTube. So let's, let's focus on opening up Terminal Revenge. So this box is interesting because there are um, three QCRs that are not found in lower rarities, which is, I mean, it's pretty pretty ballsy of Konami. And one of them is the cover card. So, honestly, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind pulling it. But I, if if I do pull a QCR, I'd rather it be the Ubel card. So, that's what I'm going for. Or or the new Karibo. Because that guy is adorable, man. All right. So, we got Wonky Quartet. Bunch of beasts. Beast bodies. Oh, that that's the guy. All right. I, I thought we had it, too. I was like, wait. Did we just pull the QCR? But, I mean, you can't tell me this guy is not adorable. He's wearing the flame wingman uh, cloth thing. And, you know, yeah, that's awesome. I, I do want... I'm going to I'm gonna buy PSA 10s of that card, too, by the way. Watch out eBay, because I'm, I'm going to go ham on that. Guard... Unless they're really expensive, because if they are, uh, I, I just... Yeah. Ooh! Phantom of Ubel. Dude, the two cards that I said I wanted are the first two cards I pull. Not in the QCR, of course, but, I mean, this card is pretty expensive. This is, like, driving the set, because the set is pretty terrible. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. The cover card is also kind of driving the set, but the chances of you pulling it are very low. Like, the chances of you pulling a QCR is three per case, and then the chances of you pulling a QCR that you actually want... It's, it's very small, and then they're probably going to be shorting the, 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 the blue eyes. So, yeah, good luck out there, boys. Gigantic Sprite. Okay. Oh, that is nice. They're reprinting some of, some of the vanillas, uh, vanilla fusions in here as well, which is dope. Kind of feel like they should have been secret rare, but at the same time, I mean, they, they don't really see play, so it is what it is. Synchro. Creed, not greed, as I was about to say. That's cool. It looks pretty nice in this foiling. Um, we'll put it over here for now. Sprite blue as an ultra. It's cool. It's just the uh, the sprites were like so two formats ago. I mean, probably even more. Gen X controller, noise. Infernoid, Haramitic, 
Her hair mythic, okay. I hope I mean I hope the new archetypes actually do stuff. So they the fire meta has some contenders to, you know, dethrone it essentially, but I don't know, I'm not very confident. Electro Blaster, Beast Cashin, uh Mirror Mage of the Ice Barrier. There's a lot of waifus in this set as well, and they're not actually that kind of piqued my interest real quick, but it's a, it's like a, a it's not of age. I had to do a double take. Like, wait, is it? Is it a child? It's a child, Kanami. Stop doing that. White Circle Reef. Bunch of beast bodies. And another Hiramidic. Hiramidic? Hiramidic? Harmadic. Harmadic. I don't know, man. I'm probably getting flagged in this video for saying dick so many times. I don't know how, how YouTube does it. I, I, apparently, I, I mean... I read that you can swear, you just can't do it in the beginning. So, uh, Sangin Jin, that is pretty nice. Uh, reprint in here. I think that was, I don't think we even got, did we get this in a booster pack? I, I, I don't think we did in the US. I think it was uh, in a premium pack, not from a core set. Um, so that's pretty cool. Repair Genex controller, that looks pretty, pretty dope, actually. Um, and then Infernoid, uh, ooh, Anunsky, Anunky. Okay, all right. I doubt we're, we can get another Phantom of You Bell, but I, I wouldn't mind that because again, that is driving the set. Believe it or not, that in a, in a we, we keep pulling like the same cards though. That is pretty insane. Usually, that's not the case in uh, in these uh, Battles of Legends sets. The secret rares you do get a, a decent variety, um, so maybe we can pull another You Bell. I have seen some videos though. Branded Fusion. I mean that's. That ain't bad. It's probably going to drive... You can get some value. Um, Give it some time, because that's just the way branded cards do. But uh, I have seen some videos, and the U-Bell card is like 3 per case. So, oh, we got a QCR, boys. Let's get hyped. All right, so if it's a fusion, it's either U-Bell or the cover card. If it's an effect and it's a light, it's Wink Karibo level 6, I think. I actually don't remember most of these QCRs. Um, oh man, what is this? That is insane, man. Okay, it's an effect, please. Please. Light. Yo! Let's go! Dude, that is awesome, man. I normally do not get hype like this, but this is a card I actually wanted. And it looks pretty clean. Hell yeah, dude. So we got... The U Bell, Phantom U Bell, and then the boy. Dude, that guy's awesome. If I played Paper Yu Gi Oh!, I would actually put it in a deck, but I, I don't play Paper Yu Gi Oh!. Woo! Let's go, man. This box is pretty cracked. Um, yeah, good thing I'm not opening up more boxes. Ritual Beast, Ulti, something or other. Uh, I kind of doubted myself, too, because I saw a light and I was like, wait, there's, there's, uh, what are they called? Sky Strikers. Are they light, too? Because there's, there's Ray and Rose, and I think they're light, but I could be wrong. Uh, toy Tank, let's go. Infernoid, Flood, all right. There, So there is another waifu in this set that is also driving it. It is a spiritual or ritual beast or whatever the hell they're called um, that I'm kind of blanking on. That is pretty nice with the star. Oh, that is pretty dope. I saw this in Ram's video. The, the star is pretty nice with the with the hollow, but a, so do you pronounce it a star spades or is it just a spades speculation? Um, so and it is one monster with twenty five hundred or more attack plus one face down defense position monster with twenty five hundred or less defense. That's interesting. Hmm. I guess it's a new archetype. It is somewhat generic, at least. So there is that. You cannot use super poly though. I don't think. Because it ha you have to use a face-down defense position. I guess you can steal your opponent's 2,500 attack monster and then use your own defense position monster. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of it's kind of weird. Arms, uh, arm of J arm, arms of Genex return to zero. All right, pretty weird name. Pretty weird name. The the uh, at least the artworks are pretty dope. Like I will give Konami that one. The there's not a lot of stuff here for me personally, but the artworks are pretty nice. Um, yeah, so is this oh, yeah, so this is a spiritual beast too. Uh, I guess most of the spiritual beasts are 
waifus, because that's what I remember, at least. Toy Tank, that looks pretty nice as well, the cartoony aspect of it. Is it a new archetype, though, or what is this? Toy Box, oh yeah, it's, um, oh, it's that guy from GX. Another level six, dude, that is awesome. For the boy, put the boy front and center right there. That is awesome, man. Like now, now I got my three copies of Wind Creeper level six. The effect could have been better. I feel like they should have uh, also negated the, the monster it destroys. But uh, what are you gonna do? It would have actually been really broken, in, in, in my opinion. Barax, Barax didn't um didn't Bandit Keith uses that? The attack and defense are also really weird. Thirteen eighty. 1530 that is a nice card oh man that is a really nice card actually i i, I might p pick up some more copies that would have been really cool as a qcr i ain't even gonna lie or a secret rare that artwork is pretty dope and it's so it's so simple too like konami just go back to the simple uh that artwork is pretty nice too man there's a lot of okay and that isn't as simple so konami all right just do good artwork, all right? It doesn't have to be simple. Just do good artwork, and I will be happy. Uh, Synchro Panic. There's the Exodia. The legendary Exodia Incarnate. I mean, I, I, I guess that's cool. Uh, unfortunately, that is a QCR and not the uh, Summon Skull, which I think the Summon Skull would have been a better QCR, in my opinion. Actually, is it a QCR? I don't think it is. Um, all right, come on. Another Phantom of Ubel, maybe. Ice Jade, Aran, Augurine, Augurine. I don't want to cover up your bell. Your bell is the chase for sure. All right, three more packs. Come on, one more you bell. I know it's honest, honestly not. I don't think it's possible. But maybe we got like a weird box here. Proxy F Magician. Okay. Noise. And then we got two Infernoids here. The Infernoids are interesting for sure. I mean, they're, they're dragons, but they're fiends. Like, they look like dragons, but they're considered fiends. All right. Two more packs. Come on, man. S uh, Sengenjin, Toy Soldier, Synchro Creed, and then a Sprite Sprint as an Ultra. That's not bad, uh, having it as an Ultra, because that's one of the few Sprite reprints that actually did need a reprint. Um, but okay, come on, man. Electrode... Beast, what is our last secret? Ah, Ritual Beast, Ulti. Uh, well, these names are weird, man. But that artwork is pretty dope. Like I said, the artwork in this set is actually, like, insanely good. I mean, when Karibo level 6, like the card I'm, I'm fawning over, amazing artwork. Phantom of Ubel, I mean, a little less so because it's, I mean, it's literally just like a ghost, right? But a lot of these cards are just super nice artworks that if they interest me, it interested me in any way, or if the box had more value, because it really does not, I would actually be picking up more of this box. Unfortunately, like I said, the the the, the set is just isn't for me. So here's a quick reca recap, guys. You guys can pause the video at any point. This is only an ultra rare, but look at the boy. I'm featuring him for sure because the artwork is awesome. Um, a lot of Infernoids, some Ritual Beasts as well. Gen X's were also supported. Some Ice Barrier, new Ice Barrier stuff as well. Proxy F Magician as a Secret Rare is an interesting choice. Um, and then the rest, there we got some Sprite re uh, reprints. And of course, we pulled actually Bangers this time around because Fan of Ubel, I think it was like 60 bucks last time I checked. We got two of the boy in the lower rarity, and we did pull a QCR. So that is awesome. Again, thank you guys for the subs, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys do enter the giveaway. The giveaway should be over in like a, a week and a half. I'll try to run it a little bit later so you guys can have more opportunities to enter. Um, but yeah, catch you guys in the next one.